Hey, what's up, everyone? Brian Schill, Determined Dad here. Welcome back to the channel. So, I wanted to talk real briefly about leaving a better life for your kids, right? So, typically, whenever we think about that, leaving a better life for your kids, uh, it's in the context of us being parents, right? Uh, dads, moms, whatever. And, you know, it's basically a metric of whether or not we succeed or fail as parents, right, is is our ability to leave a better life for our kids, right? But I think that it's important to define what the metric is, right? Like, like what you're using to measure a better life being left for your children, right? So typically, I mean, I know when I was growing up, what I kind of imagined that to be was like material, financial, right? You know, if your grandpa was a coal miner, and then your dad is maybe in sales, and then now here you are going to college for like a white collar job or whatever. So upward financial mobility, right? Maybe they were in like a two bed, two bath house. And then you grew up in like a four bed, three bath bath house in the suburb. And now you want a six bed, two story house, whatever. It's always about like upward mobility financially and materially is typically what people think about. And the reason I want to talk about this is because that's getting increasingly difficult, obviously, right? I mean, if you're not aware of that at this point, just the rising cost of things in general and the stagnant wages and the kind of crisis that exists there, um, then you've been living with your head in the sand, right? Because all that really exists and it's real. It's a problem, right? So it's getting increasingly financially difficult to, you know, leave a better life for your kids in the traditional sense, right? But, and this is a thought that popped in my head this morning, so I wanted to say it and put it out there, is that our generation also has an amazing opportunity given how messed up a lot of our childhoods were right? So we grew up in a time where, I mean, just insane, insane material affluence, even for like the poorest among us, right? Even for the poorest among us to be able to, you know, have like high quality cell phones, to have cars, to have refrigeration, air conditioning, housing, transportation, whatever, right? Relatively healthy food. Um, just the amount of material wealth that exists and has existed in America is so insane. And, you know, in relation to that, the morality of our families have dropped off so heavily that a lot of us grew up in broken homes, you know, divorced parents, uh, you know, maybe family had like drug issues, right? Whatever. There's a lot of messed up stuff that kids shouldn't have to go through. So the point that I'm getting at is that, the opportunity to leave a better life for your kids really doesn't have to be financial at all, right? Like if you're a parent in a position where you're worried about leaving a better life for your kids, you know, you're worried about how much everything costs, you're worried about getting into a good home or a good school or whatever, right? I mean, for better or for worse, the bar is so low right now that all you have to do is just be there for your kids and love them, you know, and keep your family together by any means necessary. Spend time with your kids, show them love and affection and attention, right? Don't let your job completely consume your life and just love them, right? Teach them that God exists and that he loves them too. And that morally, emotionally, spiritually, is going to leave such a better impact and a better start for your kids than what a lot of us had growing up. That it's going to be a really powerful thing, right? And it, it's not monetary at all. Like, it's all for free, you know? So, yeah, just do that, I guess. That's what we're working on. I mean, I think about that all the time. It's, I mean, it's one of the, you can ask pretty much anyone I speak to on a daily basis. I'm all about right now, you know, financial growth and trying to move up in the world in general, right? And kind of build a little empire for my family. Uh, but at the same time, you know, my wife and I both come from a slightly troubled background. I mean, a lot of things were all right, but some things were kind of sketchy, you know, as far as our growing up situation. And so it's like, we've talked a lot about how we're going to do better for our kids in every capacity, right? In every single capacity. And a lot of that, a majority of it actually is spiritual and emotional and mental, right? How can we start them learning early, 
get them intelligent, right? A music, a sport, in uh, music, Jesus, an instrument, a sport, and a language, right? How we can get them into that uh, spiritually, right? Finding a good quality church that he's going to grow up in, right? Teaching him about the Lord, but in like a really non-dogmatic, you know, browbeaten way, um, you know? And then it's emotional, just being there for him, loving him, showing him that we care. So, yeah, I just want to put that out there. So, you guys take it easy, keep crushing, uh, create better lives for your children, and uh, don't stress about the future, it'll all be good. So, that's all. Peace.